How does it feel to have win number 18 and get it here at Skagit? It always feels good to win, uh, especially out here, a place we've not been so swell. So uh, hats off to the whole STP team. Uh, these guys should be up here. They're doing a phenomenal job. They give me a race car every night that's capable of winning, and it's done that. So um, it's awful fun position to be in right now. We just try to do the best we can and continue on. You really had to work lap traffic, and the guys behind you gain on you. Sitting in the stands, it is so dusty up there. Is it as dusty for you on the racetrack as it is for the race fans? Uh, it is a little bit. I don't think it's as bad. Um, we don't get the glare as bad with the dust, but, um, you know, it's uh, that's the way it goes. Um, when the racetracks slow down, uh, they blow off, and then it goes away. And it didn't really ever get blowed off on the bottom, and it just kind of stayed really fast. So I expected the top to get a little bit better, but it didn't. Um, tomorrow night might be a different story. I'm sure that these guys will go work hard tonight and try to get an awesome racetrack for tomorrow too. So um, as will the STP guys. They'll, uh, they'll go find, find, fix this thing tomorrow and try to make things a little bit better. Uh, you know, we had a decent car throughout the race. I didn't feel as good as I wanted to, but some days you're not going to. So um, as a win, that's, uh, that's all we can say for tonight. You were able to move around, but you ran the bottom most of the race. You just said you didn't feel as good as you would want to. What are you and your crew chief, Ricky Wardner, going to talk about tonight and to improve tomorrow? Well, we actually got to lap traffic there before that, that red, and um, it just kind of started to get tight. I couldn't stay on the bottom. I was driving across the racetrack, and uh, the guys told me there was more air in the left rear than there was in the right rear when we, uh, we stopped. So uh, we had some sort of a bleeder issue, but uh, we got it all fixed up and um, went on and tried to make the car better. So... Uh, that will do. We'll, we'll sit down and try to make things better. That's all we can do. That's our jobs. Well, congratulations tonight. It's a main feature winner here at Skagit and the STP number 15, Donnie Schatz. The lap swam down. You were working on Brad Sweet. You took advantage of the top, got by him in second place. Congratulations. Yeah, excellent run, Natalie. And I just uh, really want to thank uh, Tyler, Chris, and Brandon for just the great job they've been doing. And uh, really want to thank our sponsors, American Racing Custom Wheels, uh, Desimaria Dothex. Um, big shout out to Brian Morrison at uh, Morrison Engines. It's just been fantastic all year. And uh, it was a great run, started first, started second. It was kind of a frustrating race because just when you'd feel like you'd get going and we got in the traffic, yellows kept coming out. But, you know, that's the way it works sometimes. So it's just great to get a top three. There was a couple yellows and then that red flag. As a driver, how does that break your momentum? Well, actually, they, uh, Brad and Donnie weren't that far ahead of me, so obviously I was a little frustrated over the red, but uh, that's sprint car racing. But, you know, then you got to go back into tactics because it's a double file restart and um, just, you know, because the leader picks a line doesn't necessarily make it better for you. So, you know, you just got to try and hustle to maintain position and, and then once things come out and we get into traffic, maybe try to mount an attack then and... Uh, um, Brad was sort of on the bottom and, and I, my car just stopped going so I just started running the middle and one and two on the top and three and four and got by him. Well congratulations tonight, second place finisher here at Skagit Speedway, Kerry Madsen. Brad, Kerry got by you towards the end of the race, going back what would you change after that? <laughs> Well, if I knew he uh, got the top going that good, I would have moved up to the top. But he was searching around, and uh, Kerry's been really good all year and really aggressive. And, um, you know, Donnie's Donnie. He's been uh, hard to beat lately. So uh, lap traffic was going to be pretty fun there, and uh, the caution came out. But uh, either way, out in open track, uh, Donnie was the car to beat. So our guys are working hard, though. We're getting better, and um, we're hit on some stuff tonight, and I think we can come back stronger tomorrow. On that red flag, what advice did your crew guys give you going to the handful of laps left? Yeah, I thought it was 35 laps, so they told me it was 25, so I only had nine laps to go, so they told me to get on the wheel, but uh, it's nice, you know, the sure test car, um, we've been in a little bit of a slump, so it's nice to be back on the front straightaway, and, uh, you know, just got to thank all our sponsors, Team ASE, uh, Curb Records, SurePoint, Valvoline, Pepsi Max, everyone that uh, supports us, Sage Fruit, Factory Cane, so without them, it uh, wouldn't be possible, and uh, just thank uh, Casey back at home for uh, supplying us great equipment. Well, congratulations to Brad Sweet and the ShirtTestSupplies.com, number 49, and tonight's third place finish here at Skagit. Back to you, Johnny.